Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to be talking about an upcoming phenomenon in FIFA coming up in a couple weeks that is Black Friday. And I just want to kind of have a theoretical discussion type video today about the market, maybe talking about when we'll start to see Black Friday panic, what's going to be happening time frame wise as we maybe have the first rumblings of the Black Friday worries, right? Where people start to sell their teams, they start to sell cards because they know Black Friday is on the horizon. People like to panic sell cards for that because of the content that comes out during that time frame with SBCs, with the best of team of the week impacts and all of the content, the first lightning rounds of the year uh, and all the content that Black Friday does bring because Black Friday is a big, big time in this game. And I've heard people talking about it already this week and I just want to talk about uh, what I'm seeing already in this market and are people already going to start preparing for Black Friday? Now, last week, we saw the market drop off a considerable amount on the actual date of Promo Friday, and that was due to a lot of things, but a lot of that was saved up packs and that really supplied the market a bunch on that day. Now, if you guys remember or not, we had guys like Anthony Martial, who was a 130 540,000 coin card uh, last week be on Friday before the content drop. And uh, now he was actually at 100,000 coins flat early this week. He's right now at 108. We're looking at a pre rewards market right now. But what I'm kind of just speaking about in this whole video today is it just feels like to me that a lot of people are just getting out earlier and earlier every year for Black Friday. We saw it happen last year. I'm going to show you some graphs on some popular cards from last year uh, that just started dropping from like the beginning of this month of November. And just kind of rem remind you guys and show you guys what happened last year. Could it be different this year? Absolutely. There's going to be things. This is a totally different game, right? There's different, um, you know, we have the new division rivals rewards, the, the the influx of coins that have come onto the market, just the the buying power and the fluctuation on some cards, uh, like um, controlling the market with um, different discords and, and Patreons, um, buying up a lot of people, massive buying cards and trying to flip them and trying to trade them at one time. And uh, of course, some of the crazy prices that we're seeing on special cards, EA is really running the market this year to a way that they're stretching coins out of people uh, by ma making prices move around a lot. And that, of course, makes people lose coins. So EA is going to have another opportunity to do that with Black Friday because I have heard people talking about it. I know a lot of people that this weekend are looking to start selling their cards. Now, we're going to take a look at some of the stuff that happened last year during Black Friday. This web page right here kind of encompasses all of the um, offers last year from Black Friday. I'll put the link to this web page in the description. But as you can see here, there was a best of team of the week that was released last year. I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but of course on these cards last year, if we take a look at some of the, the informs, a lot of these cards, people knew that best of team of the week was coming. And uh, so they sold these cards off beforehand, but of course they still got hit with supply and there was still a lot of stuff that came out. Last year, we also got player moments uh, that was that happened last year at Black Friday was, was the player moments SBCs. There was a team of the week upgrade tradable one. They had the 81 plus upgrades and the the league upgrades basically for the top five leagues and flash SBCs, of course. So I don't think Black Friday is going to be that much different this year. We'll see it, what EA decides to do. Um, but especially with Messi getting in team of the week today, it's really started the conversation of, hey, EA is putting in a guy like Messi for team of the week this week so that they can start to add players in that they'll want to use for the best of team of the week. Because as you can see, last year we had Messi, Ronaldo, 92 De Bruyne, 92 Hazard, Inform Lewa, and Mbappe, Mane Striker, Dybala, Mertens, Nigolin, and of course Ben Yedder got in there as well. So like if we start thinking about the cards they could put in this year, Messi is one of those high tier, uh, you know, elite level players, very expensive in form that EA could sell packs with by putting that kind of card in packs. So maybe if we see a Ronaldo in form, an Mbappe or a Neymar in form in the next week or two headed into the Black Friday timeframe, we could kind of know and say, hey, this is kind of why EA might be doing this. And this might be an incentive to them uh, to put cards like that in team of the week when they get a chance to to try to sell packs at Black Friday. But again, the market right now is kind of an interesting one. I'm watching this right before rewards and I'm actually seeing a decent amount of the market. I don't know if the index is gonna show this or not, but at least some of the gold cards, it's actually kind of trickling off today. And I think part of what that is, 
is a lot of people invested early in the week. Yeah, the gold market's definitely going down. That was probably because of tradable pack supply today. Um, but I expect the market to rise at rewards. I'm not really super scared about that. I do think we will see some cards rise today at rewards, the right ones that people will be buying for their teams. But um, I think this weekend is gonna be a weekend where a lot of people decide, hey, I'm gonna be selling my team, I'm gonna get liquid, or I'm gonna get a 100K cheap beast squad to rock with for the next two weeks while I watch player prices drop on the market. And again, once what we learned about last year was with some of these gold cards in FIFA 20, I remember the lowest point for this Mbappe card. It doesn't show it on Footbin, but leading up to Black Friday, the lowest point for this Mbappe card, hey, it was right here, Sunday, November 24th. Last year, uh, the 29th, yeah, 29th of November last year was the absolute day of Black Friday. And I remember it was the weekend before. You can see the drop-offs though, right? So two weeks before Black Friday comes out, Mbappe goes from 1.1 mil down to one mil. So he drops 100,000 coins. He stays at that price for another week. And then the next week, he drops back down to 900K. I remember specifically being on my companion app last year, uh, watching this Mbappe card drop down from about a million coins from where he was over the weekend. And it was actually on the weekend league sell-off on that Saturday night, right? It was a Saturday night weekend league sell-off. It says here his lows is on Sunday at 9.15. He was under 900,000 coins on that Saturday night on weekend league sell-off. So a lot of times what you're going to have to do on some of these meta cards is so many people are going to be selling them leading up to the actual Black Friday date. Now, if you think about these cards, right? Think about who was in best of team of the week last year. Mbappe. Uh, was in best of team of the week, not Neymar, but Messi, Ronaldo, um, you know, Mane, Hazard, those are all gold cards that a lot of people in this game want to buy. So that's why you see a guy like this Mbappe, he dropped down and hit his technical lowest point for the Black Friday timeframe was the week before. Now, of course, we had, as you, if you look at this graph, this is why I wanted to show you the all year graph as well, because usually Black Friday, at least in FIFA 19, a lot of people had this notion that Black Friday was like kind of the bottom of the bull, right? The market would dip down, 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 down. It would reach a bottom at Black Friday. It would rebound back up until team of the year, and then it would go down. But what happened last year was foot miss, right? Foot miss took over the market. Of course, we had team of the year nominees that came out and team of the group stage promo crashed the market as well. All three of those things happened in early to middle December and that crashed the market even more. So last year, we kind of built up until the beginning of November and then just went down, down, down until team of the year and where it rebounded into January, February. And then of course, we're in towards the end of the game. So stuff really falls off. But this year, uh, with all of the content and all of the, the stuff and the promos that EA is running and just with the way we know they like to run this game with Icon SBCs coming, it's going to be a very interesting year. And I would expect to see a lot of prices, especially on gold cards, do kind of the same thing is probably they'll dip down before Black Friday. They will bounce back, but then they're probably going to crash even further again as more content comes out. So all I'm saying is, uh, the, the stuff that we can think about now is as we get nearer and nearer towards Black Friday, gold cards are going to drop in price because people are going to be selling them off. Neymar was kind of crazy last year where he stayed around the same price and then obviously got panic sold a bunch. Um, I think, yeah, Kimo Group Stage came out on December 6th of last year. And you take a look at this graph. Uh, on December 6th, Neymar was 1.05 mil and he dropped down after the weekend of Team of the Group stage just because of that promo, what came with it, and the pack weight. I don't know if you guys remember these cards, but the Team of the Group stage cards destroyed the market because they were so supplied. They had such a high pack weight. That was a pretty crazy weekend uh, on, on foot. But uh, all, all the, bi the big notion here is as you look at a lot of these cards in forms, out of pack specials are a bit safer. They still drop into Black Friday, especially if they're you know supposedly going to get into best of the team of the week. But if it is a meta item um, that was an out of packs informer special card, I'll take a look at a couple of them right now. Scream Firmino, right? Really, really meta card. Just out of packs, dropped a little bit. He was at 730k into Black Friday, dropped down to about 700,000 coins, and then rose right back up with all of the pack supply that happens at Black Friday. He flew, right? All the lightning rounds and all the coins that puts onto the market. Elite level players and players that just want to use very meta cards in the game go out and buy cards like this, right? So out of packs cards, this could be rule breakers for this year in FIFA 21. Some of the rule breakers that are very OP that a lot of people are using 
might have a rebound trajectory like this headed into um, the year if they're super duper meta and a lot of people want to use them. So that's kind of something to think about. Antoine Griezmann as well, just an inform out of packs to look at that was pretty desirable. Dropping down and hit a low point the week of Black Friday. Didn't get into best of team of the week, which some people thought he was going to. Rebounded from 370s back up into the 400k range. Uh, and then, of course, on that team of the group stage weekend, it dropped back down as well. But this is the big thing that I want to show you, too. If you're looking to buy a team on Black Friday, and we're going to talk about this a lot in the next coming weeks as we do follow the market downwards into Black Friday. Out of pack stuff, icons, uh, and... Um, really, really meta out of packs cards, like rule breakers and stuff like that are going to be kind of like the move, I guess you could say in terms of an investment. But as we look through a lot of these players right here, like if we look at a lot of their graphs last year, these cards just dropped down a bunch last year as we were headed into Black Friday. Like let's take a look, let's take a look at Varane because this is a very, very OP card from last year in FIFA. Let's take a look at his 85 rated card from FIFA 20. What happened to this guy last year? Of course, this was probably... The road to the final promo, a lot of selling off, right? He's trending down towards Black Friday. Black Friday happens right here, 186,000 coins. After that, right, 85 rated card, but super meta. Bounces back up to from 180s, 170s to 224, or from 130s to 170 on the on the Xbox. And then, of course, for the next couple of weeks, he drops down into early December and in Team of the Year. So just kind of watch out for this stuff. And again, if it's really, really meta, it's going to get Panic sold down. Examples of cards that we could see uh, this year that would get sold off that are really meta, right? Rashford, this would be a card that I would watch very very closely this year just with how how op this card is in game and how many people talk about him and how many people use this card this would be an item that i would watch closely headed into black friday with the sell-off with the panic with a possible rebound and if you have these guys in your team what is my advice to you my advice to you is sell before the weekend league ends this weekend because i think this is going to be like we had a drop off last weekend it wasn't a crazy one but a decent drop off i think this weekend again is where you're going to start to see some people especially on some of the higher tier cards maybe even some icons maybe some out of packs informs that are very meta maybe some of your road to the final cards that are very meta i would expect to see more of a drop off on some of those um this weekend because we're getting closer and closer to black friday and it's going to get talked a lot about next week next week with road to the final set two if that does come this friday and after that i think what the focus is going to be on is the black friday promo so especially next week you're going to see more hype about it more people talking about it so get out early if you can some stuff is already down some stuff is just kind of chilling right of course, we talked about like the Martial being down. Sun was like 160, now he's 130. So these cards are already down. But what I would say is you're better to get out now and you're safer to get out now or this weekend when the market hopefully does rise up a bit into the weekend than if you are con gonna continue to wait and ride these cards out because they're going to get lower, especially the lower rated ones that continually get supplied and supplied. A guy like Lucas, a guy like Usman Dembele, a guy... Uh, like Allen that are still maintaining a price as a decently high rated card, you are going to see some of these players drop. Now, let's talk about a guy like Mbappe for a moment, right? Mbappe's down. Uh, he'll probably rise up a little bit more this weekend. This guy was like 155 last weekend. He's, he was down to 145, down 100K. This would be a guy that I would definitely expect to drop yet another 100,000 coins or so. Uh, even this weekend, right? And Bappe was like 1415, and he's kind of just been chilling around that price for, for a while now. I would still expect this card, even though he's basically one of the best in the game, to drop off a little bit after this weekend. Maybe, of course, last weekend he went to like 145. Maybe this week he goes to like 14, maybe in the 13s a little bit. I do think that is going to be the sort of thing you're going to see. It's basically the rise this weekend. The cards aren't going to get as high as they got last weekend for the out of packs ones. Um, or the weekend before that, and they're just going to kind of keep trickling downwards in price as we head towards Black Friday. So, again, I'm not saying this to panic you, all right? I'm not saying this to, to make you try to go sell your cards or whatever. All I'm trying to say is we are at that point of the year where the market is starting to think about Black Friday, so that just means people are naturally going to sell, right? People are naturally going to sell cards that um, they've had in their teams because they have it. They're, they're thinking of it this way, right? They're thinking, hey, this card 
is gonna drop because of Black Friday is coming and everything that happens with that. So people sell, right? But then they look to buy back at a cheaper price. So that's the whole point of what we're talking about is now is your time to possibly get out before that stuff drops further and before more and more hype starts to build for the promotion itself and before we start looking deeper and deeper in depth to what could be coming. So again, this is more just like kind of like a theoretical preparation type video. I, I even said it last week. I said, hey, I think Road to the Final could start to crash the market a little bit and it did. We did see a lot of the drop on the gold cards. The informs are honestly still chilling a decent amount, um, but some of those are down, but especially the gold cards this last week, we did see them drop uh, a good amount. So I would expect to see that again this weekend as we get more and more special cards in the game. Of course, we've got Road to the Finals that are out in packs right now. I'm recording this a few hours uh, before rewards and EA Sports still has not dropped in the special card type for these new uh, Road to the... Uh, EA, come on, man. I have to search the uh, cards like we used to have to with the special filter. This is crazy, man. EA, you got to fix up. You got to add those card filters in. But uh, yeah, again, boys, I know it's not like a super in-depth video today. We're just taking a look at what I feel like is going to happen with this market and just that start of Black Friday panic and thought process and the market's going to be dropping. That's starting to get into people's minds. And I think it's you're going to start seeing more of a sell-off this weekend. You're going to see prices dip down lower than where they were this past week um, with a new team of Road to the Finals incoming. There's not saved up packs this week, but it's more gonna be just driven by, hey, I wanna get my coins for my cards, rock a cheap team for a week or so, maybe two weeks, and be ready for the Black Friday promo when it does come. So that's kind of the premise of the video today. If you do find it helpful, all right, good luck with your weekly rewards, first of all. Those are coming out in a couple hours before, uh, after this goes live. So hopefully we do see a decent rise on the market. I'll show you what I have invested. Uh, before we end this one off. I've got some De Youngs. I went La Liga heavy today. I have a couple De Youngs. I've got a Walker just to try that one out. Uh, and then I've got um, a Llorente. I'm trying to flip that Inform card. A couple Camaras, the Osamans that I bought earlier. Uh, and then some Sergio Ramos. I'm trying out some Ramos. He's usually a really good Thursday flip investment. We had a lot of La Liga players in this week's team of the week. And as we see people move towards more... Um, you know, untradeable teams. Maybe they're using the red picks. So a decent amount of people might get Llorente today as an 84 rated red card uh, with Jao Felix last week. You know, players like that that have been in team of the week, a lot of La Liga kind of links, right? Now I'm not saying you're going to get Messi and, and get a Ramos because you, you got Messi for your red card, but Llorente would be one a lot of people might be linking uh, a guy like Ramos to. I don't think people are really using Sergio Berto, but maybe and uh, we've seen some new La Liga special cards recently. So that's why I went with Ramos. Uh, I have a Sterling as well. So I'm going with some gold cards uh, just because of my budget, right? I'm on like 1.6, 1.7 mil. So I would expect to see some of that stuff rise back up with rewards today. And then we're into a promo Friday, boys. Another promo Friday with uh, a lot of stuff going on in this game. So again, just kind of a theoretical not, you know, it's kind of a Wednesday was an interesting day on the, on the, the market today with the new team of the week. Uh, but promo day Friday and of course rewards day today. I just wanted to kind of get a theoretical video out about Black Friday uh, just because it's coming soon and we need to get prepared for it and get our minds right. And if we stay ahead of the curve, it's going to save you coins, it's going to save me coins and all of our lives are going to be better. So if you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.